So today we're going to be checking out the performance on the Samsung Galaxy Book. Just out of curiosity, just for fun, we're going to compare it with my Ryzen 1700X. So I've been playing with the Galaxy Book for a couple of hours now and um, I'm getting the hang of it, the use of it and how to use it. And uh, what I really want to figure out is how is the performance on this tablet? So the best way to test it out is to compare it with my customized PC here that I built. Right here, we've got the Ryzen 1700X with 3.4 gigahertz. It's got a 32 gigabyte of cursor DDR4 running at 28 megahertz. Stock is 3000 megahertz. However, my motherboard is not capable of running that, that spec yet until software uh, until they get the software update for it so i'm waiting for that and for the internal storage we are running the samsung 960 pro nvme ssd m2 so it's one of the i think it's the fastest internal storage you could ever get for your pc and for the video card we've got the asus gtx 1080 ti strikes oc version so as you can see this rig is quite powerful. I only use it to to render 4K videos. So just out of curiosity, guys, I really want to see how the Galaxy Book perform against this, this bad boy. Um, so again, this is just out of curiosity. Don't get too offended by it. We just want to see and know where it stands, the Galaxy Book. So for the Galaxy Book, the specs is it's got a dual core Intel i5 7200 at 3.1 gigahertz. It's got 8 gigabyte of inter it's got 8 gigabyte of RAM, 256 gigabyte of eMCC. Um, video card, it's got the Intel HD graphic card. And for the battery, it's got 50 70 milliamp battery. So for the test, what we're going to do is we're going to do a boot up test. So I'm going to power them up at the same time. Once it reaches to where it's asking for the password, we're going to put another timer there until we see the screen display, the main menu. The second test, we're going to be doing a transfer file from my SD card. I think it's a 10 minute 4K video footage. We're going to transfer it from the SD card to the Galaxy Book and to my um, rig here. We're going to see how fast it will transfer. And last test will be the 4K rendering test. We're going to render four, uh, roughly around 15 minutes, oh no, 10 minutes long of 4K video. We're going to try to render it and see where this Galaxy Book stands. So I've got the power button up here. And we've got the power button right here. So in two, one, zero. All right. So they are booting. The timer will be on the screen. I will pop the timer on the screen. I won't know the time until I finish editing it. So as you can see, That was really quick on the Galaxy Book. So now let me just put my password on. I'm gonna put our timer, pop my timer on the screen again. And here we go, two, one, zero. See how quick it is, guys? The M.2 internal storage. The Galaxy Book loaded up much faster when we got to the password and when we activated the password my rig was way way faster but again the galaxy book did a fantastic job not too bad so now i'm gonna try to um, upload the video i've got a 10 minutes 4k clip here that i'm gonna be transferring to my galaxy book we're gonna see how long it will take to fully transfer all the file in the this device and then after that i'll do the same thing on my my uh, ryzen 1700x 
So here we go. File that I'm going to be dragging to the desktop. So here we go. 210. And off it goes. All right, so it is done. It's loaded. So in two, one, zero. So there you go, guys. It was much quicker. Um, I don't know the time, what it got, but I will check later once I finish editing everything up. But as you can see, it felt much faster so I've got it all set up here we've got a 10 minute long 4k clip that we're gonna render on both devices I've got my timer here so let's uh, do this test and see how fast uh, they could actually render this all right so as you can see the 1700 the ryzen 1700x is just blazing fast guys it took seven minutes almost eight minutes to render a 10k video clip um of course we expected that but as we can see here from the galaxy book um you definitely don't want to render a 10 minute clip on this maybe perhaps a five minutes or less than that you can still manage to get some um, somewhat of a decent time um, but the best the best uh, way to do this is just don't render 4k on this um, on this book just uh, render 1080p and you should be fine as you can see it is uh, it says here we've got 15 min 57 minutes left to finish this rendering so it's gonna take a while if you're planning to use this as to render 4k which I usually do so I have to cut it cut my minutes if I do decide to render 4k in this uh, tablet and um, but as you can see you can still edit your Adobe Premiere on this tablet it, it 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 has enough power to edit it you can you have your Photoshop and everything here as well let's just cancel this you can still do your editing Photoshop and everything here it's it's capable of it's got it it's capable of doing it it's got enough power but when it comes to rendering you should you wanna you wanna avoid 4k rendering on this tablet guys it's just it just doesn't have enough power but anyways, uh, at least we have a good gener a general idea what this Galaxy Book can do when you compare it to a very powerful PC here that I've got. And uh, if you guys have any other questions or other tests that you guys want me to do on the Galaxy Book, just leave me a comment down below. Um, I really want to test this um, Galaxy Book, what it can actually do. In real life situation instead of just reading it from the specs and um, so far the main feature of this um, tablet is the portability portability and how how easy and light it is to carry it with you if you're especially if you're traveling this is so perfect and um, the performance it's got some performance but it's a uh, very limited to 4k and um, other than that guys um, that's pretty much it for the test for the performance so like again if you have any other further questions just leave me a comment down below we'll do some more tests on this and see what this thing is all about so once again guys thank you for watching my video until then i'll see you guys on the next one peace